Ethos Decorum. Here we are on Orchard Street. I'm like, yo, a classic New York City strip. Let's mess with it. And then boom, a Murakami exhibit. All of a sudden, a Murakami pop-up. How crazy is this? The legend Murakami too. But this is us lifestyling. Exactly. Therefore, just putting yourself in the scene, putting yourself in the mix, you come up on these things that'll influence you, that'll inform you. Right, who's hotter than Murakami right now? Nobody. He's the Andy Warhol for right now. Yep, let's check it out. Dig it. Ethos decorum, the process that Murakami goes through to create these, we were talking about that earlier. What is that process? Uh, from what I understand and watching different documentaries, the process is pretty much he has a team of people mm -hmm. and he's basically painting, silk screening, and detailing each piece of artwork and then putting those pieces together. So it's way more detail and intricate than we really think it is. Mm -hmm. And that's the beauty of art, where the artist makes things look simple sometimes, but it's still a complicated process. Or you see this end result, it looks detailed, but you don't know the exact process of how they do it. And the skills of these pieces are just incredible. Incredible, incredible. I mean, I, I just find myself disappearing into some of these pieces. I mean, the, the color work itself is just so, it, it, it's very trippy. It is. It's very trippy. So I wonder if, if Murakami was like, you know, messing around with that ooh-wee, you know? Because I'm here saying ooh-wee. 